Shabbat Shalom, everybody, and welcome to this week's Torah portion. This week's Torah portion is number 36, Beha Eloteka, which means in your going up. And you can find it in Numbers chapter 8 and verse 1 through chapter 12 and verse 16. And the prophet's section is Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 10 through 4 and 7. The Psalms are in 94 and 95. And the renewed covenant or the Brit Hadashah is found in 1 Corinthians 10 verses 6 through 13. And I have to give a little disclaimer before I begin that I got stuck in about the first 19 verses of Numbers chapter 8. And so I'm not going to get a chance to talk about the rest of um, the other chapters in this week's Torah portion, but they're very, very relevant. They have a lot of goodies in them. There's definitely gold to be found in those there scriptures, okay? So please enjoy those as well. I really did enjoy them too, but I just had to condense what I'm going to share with you guys so that I can um, be in accordance with the um, time guidelines um, for the 15-minute teaching. So I wanted to share with you to begin with the title of this week's tour portion. I was meditating on that and it means... And you're going up. And I was thinking about how when you're on a hill climbing, um, if you're either climbing a mountain or you're walking up a hill via a bike, um, it's hard. It's painful, especially the steeper and the higher it is um, when you're going to a higher elevation and you're making a change. And I have to share a little personal testimony with my bike riding. Um, My dad has taken me bike riding for many, many years. And in the beginning, it was very, very difficult. And this one hill still is very difficult for me. Um, I still struggle to get up it. I will say that Throughout the years, I've built up endurance and it's become easier for me to climb. However, it is not easy. The hill to me is a little monster. And all the time, I don't ever know which way we're always going to go, which route we're going to take. Um, I, and you can just get all kinds of spiritual things out of this because I do. But I don't always know the path that we're going to take. And, you know, I just follow I just follow my dad and we ride and he takes me where he wants to go. So uh, a lot of times the hill comes up upon me, uh, surprisingly, um, because I don't know which path we're, we're going that day, you know, or that evening. And sometimes it's really hot outside if it's in the summertime and going up this hill is not the most pleasant experience. Let me tell you, the majority of the bike ride is awesome. Um, you know, you've got the wind blowing and you're going through some pretty scenery, but this hill man is a little monster and it takes a lot out of me. And for a long time, I used to walk my bike up this hill. Um, but I, I got to the point where I just struggled and I pressed through and I made it riding up the hill. I might not go up as fast as my dad does, but I make it up there. And a lot of times we'll end up having a little treat, a reward, so to speak. After we climb this hill, we'll end up riding to an ice cream shop around the corner and having a little treat before we go Um, and finish our bike ride back home. And I I share that story because in this life, we're on this journey to become clean priests, okay? The Bible says God has made us kings and priests. Um, We are going on this journey to become clean priests with God and to rule and reign with Him, to be in this elevated state of ecstasy, to be with Him for eternity, but the journey there is not always going to be pleasant. There are going to be some pleasant moments and there are going to be some really tough, unpleasant moments, but it's all working for us. This far greater weight of glory that's upcoming for the future for us. And we've got this reward to look forward to. Amen. Amen. And it brings me to the scripture found in Numbers chapter eight. And I want to flow to verse six and it says take the levites everybody say i am a levite i am a levite from among the children of israel and cleanse them that word levite means joined to um levi was one of jacob's sons born and 
his name means joined to. So Levite joined to. We are to be joined to the Lord, just like Ruth clave unto Naomi. She was joined unto her. She cleaved unto her. That's how, how we are to be to God on this walk. Amen. And that word cleanse found in Numbers chapter 8 and verse 6. That's the Hebrew word taher, which means to be bright, to be pure, to be physically sound, to be clear, unadulterated, uncontaminated, morally innocent, purged, purified, clean, to be clean. I just want you to rest in that for a moment. Through the blood and the power of Messiah Yeshua, this is who we are. It's a done deal. This is who we are. We're now clothing Yeshua. We have on the king's garments, you guys. We've got on the king's garments. We're wearing him. Too much. I, I have to stop there. Let me go back to, which I want to bring this these two verses out. This is not part of this week's Torah portion, but it relates to it in these scriptures and these passages that I'm reading. So I wanted to bring it out. It's found in Revelation chapter one, verses five and six. And bear with me one moment while I pull it up. So when you look at um, Revelation chapter one and verse five and six, it says, and from Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us. Everybody say, I am loved. Hallelujah. I am loved by the maker, by the king of kings, by the son of God, by my victorious hero. I am loved by Yeshua and it is through his blood. Amen. And the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Everyone say hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, Jesus. I am Tahir. I am washed. I am cleansed. Hallelujah. Thank you, O Lord, for the blood of Yeshua makes us righteous and clothes us with king's garments. In verse six, it says, and has made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. When you look in and in, in meditate on the fact that we are joined to God, he's joined us to himself through the blood of Yeshua. We have something to smile about. We have all greater hope in the midst of this pain, this steep climb that is painful at times. It's pressing. It hurts. But it's building us and giving us endurance for a greater purpose so that we can get that reward and we can be who God has called us to be, his beautiful Levites, his cleansed priests. Amen. We are on a journey to become clean kings and priests. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. It just makes me want to jump and sing and shout hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. Thankfully, I'm sitting down and I'm not jumping up and standing because we'll be here and I'll be way over my teaching and I'll have to stop it and redo it all over again because of my little praise break. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I wanted to bring out Numbers chapter 8 and verse 2. Numbers chapter 8 and verse 2 says, Speak unto Aaron, who was a high priest, and say unto him, When you light the lamps, the seven lamps shall give light over against the candlestick. And Aaron did so. So he lighted the lamps thereof over against the candlestick as Yah, as the Lord commanded Moses. And when you think about that, we are a light. We are a lamp, a light for God. And we are a light for his people because this menorah was to light the house of God. And we are to enlighten the house of God. When you look at Numbers chapter 8 and verse 19 it says and i have given the levites as a gift to aaron and to his sons and when you look at that we are given as a gift to the high priest we are given as a gift to yeshua which i can't comprehend how in the world how on god's beautiful green earth can i be given as a gift to him he's the gift to me He's my gift. How am I a gift to him? But it says through this offering, we're a gift to God. And it says in verse 21, 
that we're purified, we're washed, our, our, our clothes are washed because of Yeshua, because of our belief in him, we can have that righteousness that exceeds the righteousness of the Pharisees like God talks about in the scriptures. I listen to that scripture and know my righteousness could never even come close to the righteousness of the Pharisees. And remember, in the Bible and in the scriptures, Jesus said that the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. They kept the law. They taught, I will say, they taught the law perfectly. He said, do what they say, not as they do, because their hearts were messed up. Their hearts were a wreck and they had so much evil and they weren't actually practicing the law in the way that God commanded them to do. But what they were saying was correct. So just remember that. But just to meditate on the fact that on our best Sabbath keeping, feast celebrating, fasting day, we can't come close to the righteousness of the Pharisees. So much more so the only way we can inherit the kingdom of God is by having our garments cleansed and us being clothing as Shua knowing that, and I'm going to say this, after coming into the Torah and walking closer with God and keeping his commandments in this past over decade of my life, I have come to realize and know the blood of Yeshua, the blood of Jesus Christ, that I need it so much more so even in a closer commandment keeping walk than ever before. Because you horribly fail even if you don't realize it on your best day but that's where yeshua's blood comes in the blood of yeshua cleanses us he uncontaminates us he makes us morally innocent he makes us purified he calls us taher he makes us bright he makes us this menorah that to me is so humbling that i can be this and be a gift to him because he's my gift but again that's the two become one we're joined in him we're that we're that joined together being which is a levite that's who a true levite is and that's who we are to be is that amazing beautiful levite unto the lord amen and i wanted to turn to zechariah if you flip to zechariah with me this is part of the half Torah, the prophet section. I wanted to read how we are supposed to sing and rejoice in 2 and verse 10 of Zechariah because God's going to dwell with us. Amen. Hallelujah. It says that he's going to inherit us as his portion. He's going to choose us. That means we're wanted. That means we're treasured by God. This is how things are going to be. And then you've got the picture of Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of Yah and Satan's on his right hand. So here's your accuser. Here's the evil one. And it says, is this not a brand plucked out of the fire? Yah has chosen you. This is us. We're going through fire. Fire is hot. Fire is painful. I just recently burned my little two fingers in a little part of my wrist on some steam. I was steaming, steaming some spinach the other day and I had a pot holder and I lifted it up and the steam was just under pressure and it poured out and it went up to my fingers and man that hurt it was painful i was running cold water under my hand you know yeshua thank god he healed me graciously and compassionately i put some aloe vera on there you know and i'm thankful to god he he healed me but that was painful for just that little teeny bit of time that was painful that hurt just remember that's what we're going through we're going through fire but sing your way through it. Like the scripture says in verse 10 of chapter two in Zechariah, sing and rejoice, hallelujah, because of this beautiful future we have to look forward of God coming to dwell with us. Amen and amen. Rest in knowing that you are cleansed. You are beautiful, cleaned beings in the sight of the Lord through the blood of Yeshua and through his cleansing blood in him alone, you now have on the king's garments. Your king's garments are making you shine and making you sparkle as lights 
unto the house of God as lights unto the children of the king. Amen and amen. Be blessed. Shabbat shalom. Beautiful lovers of God. Have an awesome, amazing rest of your day. Love you guys.